This is a report that looks at gender disparities in 26 large Canadian cities, all the way from uh, Kingston, the smallest community, all the way up to Toronto, our largest community. It looks at the gap between men and women across health, education, economics, leadership, and level of violence in those communities. What does it tell us about the state of being a woman in Canada? Well, nationally we know, for instance, that progress has been achingly slow in closing the gender gap in Canada. And we see this play out in different ways at the local level, despite gains that women certainly have made in education, post-secondary education, and uh, closing some of the health gaps. There are wide gaps that remain, certainly in economics, leadership, and the level of violence in Canada, in Canadian cities in particular, is still unacceptably high. Can you tell us a bit about the rankings, what's going on at the top and what we see at the bottom this year? I want to say at the on outset that uh, the rankings, we have 26 cities that we've uh, surveyed in this particular report, and that actually the gender gap in the overall rankings is relatively small, it's seven percentage points. That said, there's lots of variation inside the index in terms of strengths and weaknesses of different communities. So we see, for instance, that some communities uh, rate very poorly on leadership, others rate very highly on economic uh, parity. Um, the whole, all of that diversity is laid out in the report. What needs to be done to close these gender gaps? Well, it depends what we're talking about. Certainly there are persistent gaps and it takes concerted effort. Women's organizations across the countries are active in their communities, raising the issues, pushing for progressive policy change. We see at the federal government new pay equity legislation, but not the funds attached to make it a reality for most women. We need to continue to push for meaningful change, federally and locally. What's your main takeaway from this year's report? One of the biggest uh, takeaways for me, certainly, is you know, large report, 18 indicators, 26 communities, but there's still so much we don't know about women in communities in Canada. We don't know a lot about particular groups of women, racialized women or indigenous women, how women with disabilities are doing big data gaps. That's one of the priorities going forward to push for the data that are going to help us tackle these damaging disparities. 